You might be wondering, Benjamin, uh, why are we on camera right now? Um, so I just thought we'd have like a brief chat about this uh, this album. Yeah. So what I would say is that I never thought I'd play music. Let's maybe start there, and uh, and it still feels so strange to think that playing guitar and piano is like a thing that I love now because like rewind a short period of time ago it was not uh, the reality but um, these songs there's nothing special about the songs per se but uh, there's uh, I think there's something special about the story behind all the songs um, songs about growing up and this beautiful place called Heart Bay um, but I wanted to touch in that through writing about um, life kind of write about the human spirit and kind of write about um, not necessarily me but I think that thing inside all of us where we like searching for more than just the here and now so it's a, they're songs about Heart Bay. The album cover has Heart Bay on it, um, which I think is pretty sick. Um, Heart Bay Beach. So, the story behind that. So, before I even wrote and put out the previous songs, I took that photo when I was still thinking through shucks am I even gonna put out music and being so restless and um, not confused but hesitant and honestly quite fearful and probably more thinking like what what good would me putting music out have but I took that photo one night on the beach when I was down there on my own I was up in the sand dunes of Heart Bay Beach and the Sun was setting and there were these cool reeds and I love taking photos so it was just a cool moment but I came back around and I found that photo once I'd written most of the songs on this current like first album it was just in a folder on the computer so I was like shucks I've never used this photo I've never put it to use and so yeah it's just iPhone as you'll see it's it looks pretty grainy and it was it was quite late and I had to up but I think it, it adds to the the style it gives it that like almost it's it's a picture of home but it's also got like a feeling of nostalgia attached to it so I want that when I look at the cover and when I have you listen um, that you would like look back and think back to your home would you think to your literal home but also your uh, metaphorical spiritual home that you'd think to like the idea of home and looking back on memories gone by maybe the overarching idea that comes through for me through the songs and puts them into like one body as a whole is the idea of arriving at home and that may mean different things for different people but that's what I envisioned of that moment of coming home after being away a long time and you'll hear the lyric of like you'll hear the line home mentioned quite a few times <laughs> Not too many times, but here and there, look out for it. And different things, different ideas come up through different songs. But that, um, 
in my mind when I was writing almost all the songs. I was I was honestly quite inspired by when um, trying to think through what not your Hollywood picture of heaven, but actually like if heaven is for real, what is that like to come home in a a deeper sense uh, in your heart? Like what does it mean to come home and what in what way would you be received coming home to like God who loves you? Right at the moment I hear you say I won't let you go I won't let you go So that kind of painted the vision behind the songs even though the lyrics aren't addressing that um, but well they do but they're not on surface level uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know. And um, what would you say is one of your favorite tracks? Favorite track? Uh, to play... <sighs> Sheesh. So the first song that came t was Bathe. That was the first one I hoid out, that I put out. The second one was I Won't Let You Go, and I put those one and two out just on their own before I thought this would be a full project so those will be special because they were the first float is pretty sick because float is about um, it's about something that hasn't happened yet make of it what you will when you listen to the song but I wrote about something that hasn't happened yet that will without a doubt happen but trying to come to terms with it before it does um, take that what you will soldier on is pretty <laughs> sick I love that song um, because it's cool to play and sing and yeah for the song so I find that when I write I'll go to guitar and piano and just start to just play something that sounds cool and then what I'll do is I'll sing random even sometimes nonsense and sometimes I'll hear myself singing a certain phrase or line or idea will come to mind and I'll voice memo that and I will sing I'll sing nonsense words and just to try and get a melody as I'm playing and then sometimes a line or a word will come and I'll always voice memo my iPhone is my phone is filled with voice memos and so I'll listen back and I'll hear or I'll hear something that I did sing, or I'll hear something I thought I s had sung, and if I was singing lines, I'll then write those down. But if I was just singing nonsense, I'll kind of wrestle through and find something, I'll write something in if the melody sounded cool. So th that's a long way of answering how like the, uh, the names come to be. I guess you can run through each song. So... I Won't Let You Go is the first one. That is pretty self-explanatory. It's not from my perspective, and we'll just leave it at that. Um, throne, that song is not actually about a throne, but it's about the idea of what a throne means and who it's for. But um, <laughs> that, that, huh? The Throne Throne was the last song to be written as well. And it was written in like 10 minutes, honestly. While I was up in Durban, like right before I was recording. I thought, honestly, I threw two songs out to put that one in. So, I don't know why. It just came out of nowhere and kind of, it wrote itself and it's pretty cool. Bathe, so sick. And um, I dig the song. <laughs> Uh, bathe is a, a song about swimming, yes, but also about uh, bathing in the light, that's the line, and that paints a picture in my mind. More Life is the fourth one, it's on piano, it's probably a favorite song coming back around, I forgot about that one. That song's so cool because it's describing one morning I had in Komiki, which isn't really hard bear, but uh, 
the it's verse good. verse one on more life is about um, Hart Bay and a specific Wednesday night in grade 11 that was a special night pretty life altering then the second verse in that song is about a morning in Komiki where I was just having a run in like 6am 6, 6 and something pretty gnarls happened um, so you'll see in the song um, but I love that song because it's just voice and piano um, so more life I had that piano idea for a long time and I it kept switching which songs it would be a part of and by the end of it I was like it fits this song the best um, float is next it's number five um, and as I said before that's about something that hasn't happened yet um, it's basically about death and grief or loss but and I've experienced that but it was about someone someone specifically and if they were to go um, uh, like working through that so yeah yeah so yeah so but the way it resolves is I think we quite scared of death or to talk about it at all or to even think about it because we don't want to put a dampener on our lives but I think you can you have to hold both as you live death and life and it's cool that more life goes into float because it, it, it sounds like a bit of a big change up when it clicks on as you're listening through but it resolves and then it sets the tone for the rest of the songs. There's the next song, number six, is Only One. That's a sick song, very cool to play um, because it's got finger picking, but it's, it's writing about uh, the only person that you'll ever need. Song seven is called So Far So Fast. It's kind of trying to talk about how quick life goes and the memories that are made and and like we run through life so far so fast and don't we just forget to re recollect what's gone by and then it will just hit you in a random moment you like flip i'm this old doing this what happened to childhood what happened to the study years so it's almost a song not yolo it's a song about like your life now in the present the is the good old days like right now is the good old days so tr treasure them and flip and savor them um, early talks is during lockdown um, when we were allowed to go out in the bay every morning I'd wake up early and there were about three hours that you were allowed out the rest you had to be inside in the hard lockdown early talks is about the early morning hot bay walks that I started to take and to walk and to think and to pray um, and that would just be long walks doing nothing but just looking mask on everyone else's mask on not even to get coffee just exploring roads I'd never walked down in the bay and making the most of the time because that was all we had really learning to appreciate getting up early and sending it um, just like us is number nine it's a song about my family and it's from my perspective it's also from my parents perspective there's one line that says our kids Samuel he's eight and Emma's six and I don't have any kids but Sam is my younger brother and Emma is my younger sister so it's 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 a song it's similar to So Far So Fast about the speed of life. Track 10 is Soldier On. Soldier On is, um, uh, what is the chorus? It's about realizing that you've got nowhere. For me, there's, there's one place that's like sure ground and a sure footing. 
you can press on through life and life comes with a whole lot of challenges and hard moments but to push through and put your feet back on the thing that you know will be solid ground that's that's what that song's about and the final one is a song called colorful and it it has it's written in like five or six different keys it's also on piano um, it's a funky song because it's got a whole lot of parts but it's quite short and it's about um, arriving back home and it, what I wanted to picture was walking into not the stereotypical Hollywood heaven where you imagine heaven to be a long worship service or you imagine little babies floating in clouds or you imagine but like if heaven is for real how has Jesus how did he speak about it and how did he talk and like show it so colorful is a song about um, not being scared because you're how can I say this simply it's in, very simply it's about thinking you know who God is is and what he's like but then being shown by him what he is like for who he truly is so leaving behind all the misconceptions and ideas we make about God but yet realizing that he's closer than a brother closer than the sky he's not this angry figure in the clouds but he came down and came like flesh and blood and he bled so that's long-winded um it's good though and the album is called daybreak because it's about morning yeah hobby and um that moment of the idea of morning time um, i love and it, it runs more than throughout. most <laughs> i love morning so and i wanted something short and so daybreak that was the last thing back in the world for a long time it had no title um, when did this title come about like two weeks ago <laughs> or one week ago I love after, it. after i wrote the last song i thought it would be called bay and i thought it would be called uh, wake me up before i get to you but that was way too long so i thought daybreak and daybreak it's also unique I don't know. Low back. Yeah. This is good. Yo, we good. Eh? So, <laughs> yeah, so that's that's a wrap. We'll see you next year with the next one. Actually, maybe not. Shot me.